Hello, welcome to this week's Ken's Tech Lab. This week we're going to be going over the Unify Doorbell Pro. Stay tuned. Introducing the G4 Doorbell Pro, a smart doorbell with a rich set of powerful features that can be simply added to your existing Unify Protect deployment. Featuring a five megapixel main camera, providing a crystal clear view of what is happening at your front door. The G4 Doorbell Pro also comes with a secondary downward facing camera, specifically designed to view your packages, providing snapshots whenever motion is detected. Together with smart detection for people and cars, you'll know exactly who or what is at your front door. With the built-in ambient light sensor and infrared LEDs, the G4 Doorbell Pro offers superior night vision quality, and a white LED flashlight welcomes you home as soon as it detects motion, presenting a well-lit path to your door. The 1.3-inch color screen allows you to create custom messages that will be displayed whenever a visitor is detected. And with a built-in microphone and speaker, you can talk to whomever is at your door right from your phone or web application. The G4 Doorbell Pro supports both mechanical and digital chime boxes. So even when you don't have your phone, you will still be alerted when someone is at your door. Furthermore, the G4 Doorbell Pro comes equipped with a fingerprint scanner and NFC support allowing you to unlock your front door with the touch of a finger or swipe of a card. The doorbell is also completely weatherproof, ensuring reliable performance in even the harshest conditions. Installing the doorbell is effortless. You can power it using your existing doorbell wiring or with a USB-C cable. Or with the addition of a PoE adapter, you can plug the doorbell right into your PoE switch. You can also position your camera for optimum coverage with the included mounting options. With the Unify Protect mobile app, the doorbell is automatically detected so you can instantly monitor your footage from your phone or from your computer anywhere in the world. Ubiquity, bringing innovation to the doorbell product category and home security. Like and subscribe to make sure you are the first to know when new products are released. Welcome back everybody. I like I was saying, we're gonna go and review, install, and set up the Unify Doorbell Pro. The actual um, part number for this is UVC-G4 Doorbell Pro US. Let's unbox it. This has an easy, wow, look at that. The tab was right here, rips it up. Oh, I didn't even need to use a uh, knife. Okay. Okay, let's unbox it. Okay, we have the, kind of like the pad to hold it in place, but it's, it's all made out of plastic, kind of, kind of weird. Scan here to get started. So it looks like the instructions now are not part of the G4 doorbell box, but you would need to scan uh, to download the instructions. There's the doorbell. It is a lot bigger than the regular um, doorbell, probably because it has bigger cameras. It also has two cameras. So this one has your main camera, just like their other doorbell has. It also has a package camera. Looks like also it has an LED light to light up the ground. Your connections look the same 
as the doorbell. It has two screws on the back. Let's see what's underneath. Let's put this aside. I'll use this as kind of like covering. Let's see what we have here. So it looks like it has a power USB-C. Um, if you don't want to run it off your uh, doorbell, like 12 volt or 24 volt doorbell, uh, like I have mine running off of. It's got a reset button down here. Let's see what else we got here. Let's open up and see what else comes in the package. Okay, got to the other side of the plastic. Ah, well this is nice. This did not come with the other doorbell, so this is a metal outdoor plate that you can screw this to the wall first and then put this in to connect. That's very, I like that a lot. Because the last one I screwed pretty well to the, right to the wood on the outside of the house. Let's see what else we have. Okay, you're gonna have your left or right angle, depending on which way you're putting it, to pop out the doorbell a little bit, facing more toward the door. This is, they give you a template with a built-in level. Let's see if you can get that. And underneath the flap in here, you have the doorbell connection where this goes off of your regular doorbell. If you have one in the house, go into your 12 volt converter or 24 volt. Come through here and put your doorbell in place. Out to the outside of the house, they give you, so you're gonna run a wire from your doorbell, uh, wherever that is outside your door, you know, right inside the, the walkway of your door and you have your normal doorbell that goes off. And the wire that's going outside, you can go back into an easy way to connect it. There we go. Like always in all of the um, different accessories that come with Unify, they always give you all the parts to put it together or hang it or put it all together. And there's our other side. I believe with this one, it does not matter uh, plus and minus. I don't think there is a, no, there's no distinguishing between the two. So. Here's all the parts that you get with this. All right, everybody can see that I'm outside. So the noises you hear are real life um, with people and lawnmowers and everything else going off. But here's the original doorbell that I have. And we're gonna be replacing this one today with the new G4 Pro by Unify. So the first thing that we had to make sure we did is go down to the basement and shut off the power to the doorbell, which is also powering the Unify. All right, we're able to get the uh, regular G4 doorbell off. See if that's in the camera range. It's pretty easy. It's nothing but a small uh, push from the bottom here, which releases the clamp that holds it on. And, uh, we just 
pull it right off. And then we're gonna replace the base on this too. Also, I'm gonna be running a new wire. Um, <laughs> when I put this together, the only thing I had was speaker wire to run. And I'm gonna take this out and run a different wire uh, to make it look a lot better. All right, now that we got the new wire run, you can see I replaced it with a regular outdoor wire. We're now gonna run the wire through here. And we'll put the plate and the holes match up exactly where they were before. Okay, let's put the second screw in. If I can get it to go in straight, that would be fantastic. Okay, nice and tight. It's straight because I actually had it balanced on the last one. So what I was hoping is that the doorbell would give you some room this time uh, behind it to be able to have these. But unless they can go into the hole into the, uh, the wall, you have no room to put these. So this is going to be the same of cutting. And again, you don't have to worry about the continuity. So let's just put enough on there. Let's take a little bit more off. Okay. Let's do the same thing on the other one. Okay. On the back of the doorbell, you have the two screws, like I said before. You also have the USB-C if you wanted to just send power through USB-C and if you don't have a doorbell that you can supply the power with. So we're going to loosen these up. One, I actually don't like the way that that is on there. We're actually gonna take a little bit more off of there. And we'll get the other one to get just as much. Okay. This would probably have been easier with um, non-stranded wire or solid core. this again and we'll put it in like here that looks like that's nice and tight and let's do the same thing on the other screw all right tight and tight let's make sure there's nobody crossing borders here and what we'll do is feed that in And it snaps in just like the other one did. There we go. We have the new G4 doorbell fully installed. And we just need to hook up power on the inside and we will be done with this. And it's always good to peel the plastic. Okay, everybody, we're back inside and the doorbell is fully installed. And now it's time to set it up. So let's go to the computer to finish this uh, setup process. As you can see my screen, I'm logged into my uh, Unify system, into my Dream Machine Pro. And we're looking at my network diagram of how it is. It's Dream Machine to a 24 port PoE switch over to my LR uh, Unify 6 
um, long range. Uh, the pool area, um, I have one of the uh, small cameras, unified cameras, and I also going up to my Flex uh, Mini um, 5 port that's in my entertainment system. So everybody can see right here that it says ready to add G4 Doorbell Pro. And uh, it's sitting there waiting. And it shows me that the doorbell is here. So we're just going to hit add. Okay. G4, the G4 Doorbell Pro is sitting right here. All right, so before I adopt the new G4 Pro in there, it'd be a good time to get rid of the uh, front doorbell. And we're going to click on the doorbell itself. And we're going to go over to Settings. Then we're going to go over to Manage. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to unmanage the camera. Now, since this camera is not going to come back into my network, we're going to delete this camera and all of its recording history because I don't need it. And let's unmanage. And it's gone. All right. Now let's click Adopt. It's now adopting the new G4 Doorbell Pro. It says one new device has been added. It's got a new IP address, 192.168.1.243. It's updating. So the first thing it does is check what version of the um, BIOS is on there and it will automatically update. And that's what it's doing now. It's probably going to reboot the doorbell and then come back up with the new BIOS version. Now, one nice thing about this is I did not tell it what my wireless network was. Um, it automatically reached out and found my network, the wireless network, as is all Unify in my house. Grabbed the doorbell, automatically assigned it to the wireless. And because uh, I only have one access point, so it found probably the only one I have and no no other configuration needed on my part that's why um, I like having the entire house in a Unify where I don't have to worry about anything connecting uh, all Unify products work together without any mess or trouble as you can see in my uh, I do have another G3 instant I did connect it one time. It automatically adopted and updated, but then I disconnected it. I uh, plan on putting it out this summer or after the snow is gone and um, put out a few more cameras around the house. Getting this doorbell from um, Unify was a hard process. I actually had to jump into uh, Unify Notify, which is a separate complete company, um, and have them notify me when stock became available because it's so hard to find this on their website available um, when you just jump on there to buy it. But I wasn't going to go to scalpers like um, you know eBay or somewhere like that and pay a ridiculous amount of money uh, for the same thing that I can get directly from manufacturer. Look how beautiful that picture is. That is a gorgeous picture. Now let me go outside and wave hello. Hi, from the doorbell. That this sounds, is sounds Ken good. With Ken's Tech Lab. Doorbell rings fine. It comes up and says, update uh, password now. Okay. So, as you can see, the picture in picture, the down picture for the package sensor on the very bottom. It's asking me to log into my uh, Pro. And the light that you can see on there. And, the doorbell says, and I can change, reverse the uh, picture. 
showing you the bottom okay. and then so the close, other top close. part is is in the picture in picture. Excellent. All right, I hope you liked today's show. I'm Ken's Tech Lab with the Unify Doorbell Pro. And we went over the installation. We went over the um, what, how to put it into the Unify system. And I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Uh, I need, remember, I need to get to 1,000 subscribers before anything can happen on YouTube. Um, and I really thank all my subscribers, and I really thank you for watching. And like always, stay awesome.